Ah, another beautiful day on the farm. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the farm. Actually, if you have any name suggestions for what we should actually call this farm, because we actually currently don't have a name for the farm, do let me know down below in the comments, please. That would be greatly appreciated. But anyway, it is now January and we have a couple of jobs that we need to do today. Also, apologizes for uh, the long space in between. I've been really enjoying some Minecraft mod packs lately, but I want to get back to the farm. So here we are now. This episode is going to be a little bit weird because I'm not using my steering wheel as I normally do. A steering wheel and pedals, I should say. So I'm only using keyboard and mouse. I'm actually quite excited to try this out uh, because primarily I've been playing Farm Simulator with steering wheel. Also, some new other stuff as well is some new mods. Uh, also, as a continuation from what I said, I'm not using the steering wheel, so if steering is a little bit funky, then that is why. Uh, I'm gonna try and do my best. <laughs> However, we have a couple of new mods installed, of which I'm very excited for. One is manual attach, where we basically need to get out and attach things manually. Manual refueling, so we I think it's optional that we can go out and we can like manually fuel up the... The tractor instead of magically pressing a button and getting it refilled without anything happening. Also, a third mod, uh, also by the way, links to all the mods are down below in the description on my website. There's an entire list there. I'll have it updated as soon as I can. Um, but th this mod basically adds camera systems and I th it might be different for each tractor. It's not gonna make, I tested it real quick to see uh, how it worked. I kind of want to try to see how it works with the combine harvester over there. Uh, and we're actually going to put this tractor over here now because oh dear, this is not as precise as when you're using a steering wheel. <laughs> so as you can see, uh, if I open this, it's actually not even an option to like attach this thing. So what I need to do is go out here and I need to attach it manually like you would in real life which i have tried and it was definitely not as easy as that uh, but let's turn off that engine i just want to see with the combine how the cameras work in that all right chickens move out of the way please there we go and get this over here just want to see how many camera options are we available? What was that? Uh, Neil Strauss one. Yep. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Customize uh, camera system. Yes. So that's 400. You know what? Let's add it there. It's gonna be 400, but it's gonna be worth it. I think. It's gonna be worth it. So let's get in here, and I'm pretty sure if we turn on the engine, and I press this button, camera system is on. So that is the rear camera, and that seems to be the only camera available on this one, and it's red for some reason. Don't know why it would be red. I'm a bit disappointed in that. Hold on, toggle cruise control, enables crossbar to pipe out, camera system on, so that enables it on or off. Turn on harvester. I don't know why that is red. Hmm. That is not exactly what I had expected, to be completely honest. <laughs> the pictures on the mod page was different, but oh well, we have it. I, I tested it on the tractor and it was working. I don't know why it's not working here with this thing. Maybe it doesn't work with all vehicles. I, I might remove it and get that refunded, but uh, anyway. Let's take a quick look here. First of all, let's actually check on the animals. Uh, they should be all fine. Productivity is 100%. Uh, they have plenty of food and health is good. Chickens, they have plenty of food as well. Uh, and cows, productivity, milk, slurry. And they have plenty of food. They have hay and they have grass. So they're good. They're doing, very, they're doing well. What I need to check is this real quick. Ooh. We got stuff, but we have 30,000 to our name, so that is not going to cut it. Uh, right, we need to sell some stuff. We also need to get working in some of our fields. In the last episode, we also went ahead and bought new land, which is these two right here. Field 6, 7, and we bought field 9. 
and which is currently growing with canola. Yep, it's canola, which is in the growth stage of actually fairly late. But well, we have harvested field seven and field six is empty. We need to put in oil seed radish, if I remember correctly from my notes. Um, grass, oil seed radish. No, harvest season. Why would I put in? Huh. Okay. Well, I assume it's because we need to sleep for a few months. But I do remember that we, for a fact, have some letters, which were in January, so February. Have I not slept? I may not have slept because, oh, this is probably going to be the best price we're going to get. So we're going to sell it to that. I don't think we have much else, oh, but bleh, bleh, I can't speak apparently much else to sell. We're going to keep the stock for chicken food. I remember that much. And the si silage. We have silage. Uh, silage. That's in January and February. So we need to sell this stuff now. But let's go ahead and get the letters first, which is also why we attached this uh, thing here. Let's do this. Let's change the tires to something that is not this narrow. Real quick, should have done that before as well. And boom, uh, this thing, customize, we'll set up something that is not, there we go, standard, customize, nice, reattach that, and I have no idea where my flatbed trailer is. <laughs> I remember almost nothing from this, uh, let's take a look here, it has to be around here somewhere. I do have a flatbed trailer, right? Yeah, it's over there. Unless that is for the header. No, that's for the header. Do we even have a flatbed trailer? Oops, that's teleporting. That's not what I want to do. Do we even have a flatbed trailer? I may not even have a flatbed trailer. Hold on. I do have a low loader. Where on earth are you? Where are you? Where, where's, where's my... Oh, that's right. I placed it over there. Aha! Uh -huh. You know what? That kind of makes sense. Now now that I know that it's here, that actually does make a little bit of sense. <laughs> nice and easy. So I can't attach it like this. I have to actually go out and attach it like that. I don't know if we have any... Yep, we do have hoses to attach. I'm not sure why, but we do. And there we go. Alright, let's bring this over to the lettuce. Yeah, the lettuce, and then we'll sell the silage afterwards. That's what we need to do in January, and then I think my plan was to sleep to March, or to whenever we were able to sell the, um... Not sell, but sow... Oh, weeds. Oh, that's not my field. Never mind, that's not my issue. We may have some weeds, though, to remove in one of our fields in February, if we can't. Uh, seed in oil, seed radish. But, that is not our problem. Right now... Right now, we need to sell our lettuce, which we actually have quite a bit of. So this is not going to be a nice sight, because I'm going to suck at this. We're going to try, though. Especially without steering wheel and a joystick. <laughs> yeah, see what I mean? Okay, let's... I will cheat a little and look at it from this perspective. There we go. Definitely would not have smashed the greenhouse by now. <laughs> oh, yeah, and does that require water by any chance? Uh, nope. 12,000 liters of water. That's plenty. Okay, so we get that up here. Tell you what, this might be easier using keyboard and mouse, except for the steering is a little bit off. But, hey, if it gets the work job done. That's, I mean, that's one. Yeah, I don't know if that's impressive or not, but it's one. Nice and easy, like that. Go ahead and drive in. I got this one without looking in third camera. This is amazing. <laughs> How is a sim okay? I was about to say simple. It's not a simple game, but really, how is a game like this so satisfying? Okay, now it's not satisfying because it didn't come off. Come on. Okay, 
and the box on the other side is about to fall off because I suck at this. There we go. Look at that. Look at this. Um, this is not ideal, but you know what? We won't worry about that. <laughs> uh, I'm great at farming. Yeah. Alright, this is the last palette. This can either go really well or terribly wrong. It's going terribly wrong. Definitely going ter- what, what is going on here? It's too high. Ah, there we go. See? I can do a professional job. There we go. So this is a thousand, three thousand liters of lettuce. Not bad, honestly. There we go, uh, like this, and boom. You know what? It could have been a better job, but all things considered, I'd say we did all right. Well, I did. You watched me do it. Um, but I, I think we did an all right job. I gotta attach it and then attach the hoses, and then we gotta figure out where on earth we're gonna send it to? Um, letters, 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 let. Ooh, that's actually kind of going up somehow. I'm gonna tag the place, and it is all the way at. Oh, right there, farmers market. So if we go to, we go out here. Uh, then this road, or actually that road. Yeah, the road past field 9 onto that and then there. That should be doable. Yeah, 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 that should be doable. All right, let's do that. Uh, careful of not destroying the trailer or the tractor in the process. There we go. Or oh, we could actually just take the road over there. Now, let's uh, let's take the road between field 7 and 9. I feel like, however, I should put... Um... That's not silage. Did we sell it already? I think we sold it. I think we sold it, didn't we? Because I don't see it anywhere. It's not going to be in here. Yeah, I think we already sold it. Why didn't we sell the letters? I'm so confused. I was sure that I had to sell the... No, we sold it last time. That's right. We did sell it last time. Yeah. Okay, cool. So this is the only job for this month, actually. <laughs> And now I ended up taking this road anyway between field 6 and field 7. That's amazing. We really need a new tractor. Wow. I've been going on for this for so long, but we really, really need a new tractor. These wheels are so expensive. Oh no. Catastrophe. Catastrophe. I don't have my steering wheel, so I can't go ahead and use my blinkers. I... Hmm. Um, <laughs> this may not be doable. Uh, uh, huh. You know what? Where there's a will, there's a way. Yeah, sorry, pal. Uh, trying to. Oh, I have the wrong thing selected. Are you me? I want this to go up. Or not. Well, that's just brilliant. Okay. Okay. If I go all the way up here and now turn. I may have clipped the fence, but I think we're good. We're making it. This town is not made for trailers and tractors, is it? Oh no, this is gonna be even more interesting. Just gonna take it and. 
Uh, hello, fella. Thank you for making way for a hard-working farmer. I mean, this is really hard work, so that's not a lie. Okay, go up here. And sell away. Look at that. It's slowly being drained, taken in, ready for selling. Hopefully it'll be part of some local delicious sandwich of something. Uh, there we go. Money is getting in slowly. Back bo black box. Black? The back box is not being used though. Or taken at the moment. You take that please. There we go. We started off with 31,000 before we just got here. And now we have... 37. So we actually got 6,383 euros from that. You know what? I can't complain one bit. That's honestly really good. I'll take it. Uh, how on earth am I gonna... I think I'm gonna have to go down here. Uh, turn this way. Go around and go back up the way I came from, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This road is leading up to field 9 and 7. The road that I wanted to actually go ahead and take, but no. Uh, check left, check right, check left, check right. All good. Yeah, yeah hey, fella. Yeah, don't don't hold back for the big machinery. I know I should have looked first as well, but <sighs> great demand at Ottenberg. Great demand for what? All right, remove hoses, hoses, remove trailer, and you know what? Leave tractor here. We've deserved a great big nap. Um, yeah, on this couch. We have. Oh yeah, we have the garage. Uh, is this it? Nope, that's the clothing. This is the bedroom. Uh, let's wake up at nine. Let's 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 not be an early bird this uh, in in February. It's gonna be cold. There's not gonna be much work anyway. Animals will have what they need, hopefully anyway. Uh, we'll we'll find out in just a moment. There we go. It's morning, and good morning. Loan interest, property income though, property income, which is great. All right, daily check of animals through the app or something. I guess we're using an app. Um, food, 11,000 capacity, productivity 100%, which is great. More slurry, love to see it. Plenty of grain, eggs, uh, wool, plenty of wool, plenty of grass. Uh, ooh, look at this. Great stuff. Great, great stuff. All right. Let us quickly check the fields yep this is obviously not ready yet assume ah looks like there's some weeds coming through but we may be okay actually let's do a, a morning walk of our fields here that's been mulched no weeds in that so that's great this hmm all is well I think all is well. And I think in the last episode as well, I was talking about... Uh, do we have weeds in this? No, it looks clean, actually. I was, I believe I was talking about um, whether or not we should use organic fertilizer, etc. I think we're just going to stick with manure and then not using any fertilizer at all. Because while you can find some... I, f I feel like we're, we're just going to do it that way. I believe we're able to find or purchase a pellet, I think it is, of manure. So we can buy manure, but that's it. That would be like buying manure from another farmer. And I did calculations as well with like liquid fertilizer and whatnot. Look at how expensive it is. And while you don't use as much, I'm, I'm going to stick with this because that's how it is farming with this kind of stuff. Uh, anyway, check the used machinery market real quick. Maybe there's a tractor, maybe there's not. <laughs> uh, okay. I don't think that there's any work to be done, ladies and gentlemen, because if we take a look at this, nope, this, we're in February. We need to be in March. 
So, see you in March, I guess. Yeah. Good morning, everyone, to March. Well, welcome to March. It is uh, early morning here. We have 51,000 in the bank account, which is great. Animal checkup again. Food, good. Chicken food, good. This food, mm, it's getting it's getting low. Slurry is good, but we're getting a bit low on the grass and the hay. I don't remember what we got over here, whether or not that's grass or that's hay, but maybe we should give them an extra bale. The ch chickens, I was about to say, the sheep could use some grass as well. This is hay. All oh, this is hay. Um... So the sheep are not gonna take that, they're gonna take grass, of which I don't think I have any in storage. Hmm. That is unfortunate, I may need to buy some. However, I haven't been checking this field out. It should be growing with grass. Needs rolling. I mean, it doesn't need it, but it could use it, I suppose. Grass... Yeah, it's growing. It's getting there. We could roll it. I think I've rolled it, though. I'm pretty sure I rolled it. Anyway, let's take a look at not this. Yeah, this is getting this is getting there soon. No weed still. However, we're now ready. Boom. To so seed in all seed radish. So we have work to do in field six and field seven. That's going to give it at least one little bit of round of fertilizer, which is great. So we're gonna jump in this thing, drop off that, get our cedar, and, or our drill, as the right wording is. Get this in here. Get the brakes. Get that off. No need that. Turn around without hitting the wall too much. <laughs> and yeah, because then we can just drill directly to the old seed radish, and that will give it one stage of fertilizer, and we could potentially go ahead and get some manure. We might do that. It's gotta be somebody. But it'll also be worth it. Uh, you are able to do oilseed radish. However, very annoyingly... Uh, you, you don't cultivate at the same time. Which is annoying. <laughs> so attach you and attach... Need, uh... Oh yeah, no, um, no PTO. No PTO shaft. Okay, let's see. We need, uh, unload select seed. We only have 270 liters. Uh, select seed. Why? We need grass, wheat, barley, oat, granola, soybeans, oil seed radish. There we go. And I don't think I have any pallets of seed here. Unfortunately. So I may need to go ahead, go to the store, buy some. I don't want to buy stuff. Ooh. That would be kind of fun. What's this? A bale loader eases the collection of ba Hold on. Hold on. Oh, but it doesn't make... Does it make it? I guess it just... Takes the bales and stacks them. Okay, that's less impressive. Uh, <laughs> still cool, but less impressive. How's the wool looking? Oh, look at that. Almost two pallets of wool. Right, I was going to buy a seed. Uh, this. Big bags. Uh, sort of fertilizer seeds. You know what? That could be worse. That could have been worse. Much, much worse. All right, open these gates so we can go through. Please don't hit the tractor. Nice. All right, see you at the store. And we at the store, and what on earth is that I've laying around? That's lime, isn't it? Yep. That's lime. Okay, good to know that's there. <laughs> we just have random stuff laying around at the store. Uh, refill? Yep, refill. So that should leave us with 1,270 liters. Yep, pretty good stuff. Now we can go ahead and get started. Don't break the linkage, don't break the linkage. Oh dear me. <laughs> All right, here we are, unfolding drill. 
There we go. Gonna lower it and turn on. I don't know if we have to turn it on, actually, or not. Uh, I think we just lower it. Oh, yeah, we do need to turn it on. So, lower, turn on, and off we go. Just need to make... Oof. Okay, this might be difficult without a steering wheel. <laughs> We're gonna see how precise we can do this. But I mean, so far, I th think we're doing okay. And we are set to oil seed radish. Oh no, this hill. This hill, it's gonna kill me. I need to go up on the other side. Six kilometers an hour? Maybe we need to take a bigger loan and get proper equipment because we would actually get. St I can't go up this hill with this thing. What have I done before? I, I'm considering leasing a tractor at this point. Like really, I'm. I don't want to sell this tractor, but <laughs> because it, it, it's still useful for other stuff. But I really need another tractor. We may need to take a look at one of the loans. So that's actually one thing. While I'm uh, drilling this this field. Oh, hello. That's that's fast. Skip the corner. Um, yeah, while I'm drilling, drilling this field, that's one thing that I wanted to talk about in this series, and that is the fact that I feel kind of stuck. Like, I feel like we're not making much in terms of progression. And I don't know if it's because I've made this series too difficult, or, like, I started off very, very, like... What can you call it? very very like minimal like we had minimal stuff to use like we did not have much because that's the experience that I wanted to have like starting from scratch but I don't know did I make that did I make it too too realistic or too difficult I think that was definitely way hard of a too hard of a turn there <laughs> lower turn on there we go but yeah, did I do that too too much? I don't know. What do you think? Down below in the comments. Are you enjoying the pace of the series? Is it good? Is it bad? I also know Farming Simulator 2025 or Farming Simulator 25 is around the corner. Oh no, this hill is also killing this. Oh. We we may I may need to look at leasing prices afterwards. But like I also know that game is around the corner. And I'll probably want to play that game as well when it comes out, and I probably will play that game when it comes out. Don't know if I'm gonna make this series in that. If I am, I might give us more freedom with money, like maybe have, have a start from a higher, higher standard than having absolutely nothing other than a tractor and a cultivator. <laughs> I don't know, let me, your th let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. I mean, all things considered, we're finishing this field fairly quickly, I'd say. I mean, we've gone up and down once or twice, and we're already nearly there. I just want to see real quick, if I were to go to medium tra- Oh dear, those prices. Those prices are hefty. Uh, I don't even know if that's a word, but that's a word in Danish, hefty. Uh... <laughs> uh basically just means that they're uh tough not ideal what's my current tractor's horsepower Th okay uh 125 that's not too bad i could get 11000 for it but i mean that's not much how's it looking in terms of rent not renting taking a loan borrow 5000 uh, so loan interest, it's 500 a month. We have a loan of 150,000 already. It, I could increase that to 200,000 and we would have 50,000, but that would basically not give us anything. <laughs> it was, it, it would probably give us like nothing, to be honest. Because I don't think we would be able to get a tractor for that price. It's that expensive. Also, what on earth am I doing here? I just need to get over here. Tractors are expensive. I think the only thing that we can do, if we want to get a new tractor, is either upgrade this one to have more horsepower, or 
wait until one finally gets on sale in the in the used market and then when that happens potentially take a loan to get that tractor but with a loan of 150,000 which I didn't realize we had I knew we had a loan but I didn't know it was that high it's gonna take absolute ages to pay that back again at the speed Ugh. We need to make some big moves soon. I need to really, really think about what crops I'm putting in these two fields. We have canola, which I need to figure out whether or not that goes to cow, cow f and chicken food. Because when am I going to put in these two? And can I potentially make my own, for example factory thing that then produces oh, <laughs> that then produces a certain product that I can then sell for more than if I were to just sell a grain for example I need to think in those li in those lines also can I plop down another greenhouse how much are they they require water and then they just passively generate a couple thousand every so often those are the things I need to think about. And there we go. Now we're getting to the point where I just need to base already and Huh? How much less is that? That's already three see what I mean? Wow. Okay, it is, it is getting low on water. Like halfway. I've only filled it up like once or twice. While we have been here on this map. Huh. Okay. But for the other field, how much would it be to lease, like, something along the lines of... Not that. That. How much to lease it? Not worth it. Not worth it. Not, not, not worth it. Not worth it. Not worth it. Not worth it at all. Definitely not worth it. Alright, let's go. Let's finish this field off. Alright, final stretch this bit, and then I miss a tiny corner up there, then this field has been put in oilseed radish. And then we need to decide what stuff we actually put in the ground, which we will take a look at after we have done... I think we'll take a look between this field and field 7. I also want to see how much for an engine upgrade for this tractor, and maybe get the camera system on this one so we can see it in action on this one. Where I know it actually works. But there we go. This corner is now officially done. This field is done. Uh, ooh, field 11 would be nice. How much is field 11? <laughs> Just random thought. Random, random thought. Random thoughts can be dangerous. Uh, value 24,000. It has grass in it. But it's going to be annoying to build up. I want a big grass field. The, these small fields are kind of annoying. It's when it comes to bailing. Uh, ooh, we can actually start off right here. Uh, I'll see how difficult this is. Going back up. But I'm pretty sure it's gonna be painful. Like, down is fine. That's plenty fine. No issues at all. But going up. <laughs> That's the problem. Also, we could do with some maintenance on this thing. That would probably help it a little bit, to be honest. Like, for example, here, if I had the camera. I could go ahead and see behind me without having to actually look behind me. So actually, with that said, with, with, with that said, we're gonna take a quick look to see this stuff. All right, repair is almost a thousand. Uh, let's take a look here. Camera system is four hundred. Let's add that. Engine setup, fifteen. But how much horsepower? We go from one hundred twenty-five. 92 kilowatts, 125. Ah, that is an upgrade, isn't it? That's an expensive upgrade, though. 
really, really expensive upgrade. We could take it as a loan, though. We could increase our loan and take it, and we have the we have the money for it. I just don't know if I'm willing to. <laughs> like going from what was it, one hundred and fifteen, one hundred twenty-five to one hundred fifty-five. Doesn't sound like a whole lot. It probably is, but let's take a look at this camera thing now. There we go, camera system. See, that's how it's supposed to be. And apparently you're supposed to be able to uh, somehow have more. But with this, I'm able to have... I'm, I'm able to see behind me at all times. Like, I can turn it on and off, obviously. But then I can see, oh, I can lift and, like, lower it now. Cool. So, like, I don't have to go back now. I can back up using the camera. <laughs> Look at that! And I know when I'm actually there. Boom, I'm there. Attach. Poses. Camera system booting back up. Look at that! That's a bit... It's so weird because I'm used to looking behind me all the time. But that's sick. I might turn it off though. Or I might have it on. Because it's cool. But like now I look at the camera. Oh, I'm there now. I gotta lower and turn it on. And boom! Oh, that's sick. Okay, 9 kilometers an hour. 8 kilometers an hour. I can deal with it if it's this. If it goes down to like 5 or 4, I can't deal with it. I think we're fine though. Yeah, this is good. This is good. And you know what, just because we haven't had one for a while, I guess let's have a time lapse because this is going to take a little bit and I'll see you on the other side. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, one more trip up and uh, this field is uh, done. And I think I'm actually gonna do something that I think is faster because we go 18 kilometers per hour downwards and 8 when we go up, right? If I just go ahead and do this and I turn this thing around real quick and I go up without doing any cultivation. We go up with 38 kilometers an hour. And in a jiffy, we'll be at the top. And we can go all the way down. And I can even get the spot that I missed over here, if any. Yep. There we go. Yeah, I think that's actually much faster. <laughs> there we go. Got that. Then we can turn around and go down and get this. That camera has definitely been worth it. That's definitely been worth it. I guess it might not work on the on the combine, so I guess I might just get my money back because it wouldn't really make sense to have it on if it doesn't work. <laughs> so we'll probably do that. I'll probably do that off camera in between episodes. However, this field is now done. Um, yeah, that's great. I'm looking behind me, even though I don't have to. I have the camera crying out loud. Okay, fold this up. Let's give this a quick wash. I don't remember where the power power washer, pressure washer is. Uh, it's over here. There we go. Turn it off. Get this thing. Give the tractor a clean, a quick clean. Same with the seat drill. We'll need it again in a couple of months. And then we need to figure out what on earth we actually are going to do here. Uh, that's clean-ish. This needs cleaning as well. You need cleaning as well? No. You know what? That would be... <laughs> I don't think it would go well with a power pressure washer and a chicken. Is this even doing anything? 
very slowly. It's very, very dirty. Very, very, very dirty. There we go. Looks like new. Almost. Good enough. Okay. Leave. You know what? Leave that there. That's good enough. <laughs> um, when on earth is... Yeah, do please save. That grass is... Uh, this is ready to harvest. I need, I need another grass field that I can really work in. But they're too expensive. Uh, six is that I hate that six, field six, has this in there. Oh, well. Uh, let's take a look. Let's take a look at stuff. Because uh, we are able... I'm assuming... I don't remember what my plan was. I think it was soybeans? I think I planned on soybeans. Because I think I was planning on then having the month of April, I remember it being a very close and tight schedule, and that would only be either oat, corn I wasn't going to do, so it would either be oat, sunflowers, soybeans, oat, sunflowers, soybeans, none of this, sorghum, oat, sunflowers, soybeans, oat, Sunflowers, which I have some of, actually. Oh, I need to sell that. Oat, sunflowers, soybeans. That's actually, no, we're, we're going to wait for March. Uh, oat, soybeans, sunflowers. So that's 1,500 for oat. It's 1,100. Oats, sunflowers, soybeans. Soybeans is definitely the highest when it comes to making money. However, with oat, we're also able to get hay. Not hay, sorry, straw. I think. Sunflowers is just in general. However, what if we were to be a bit bold? We can take a loan. What if we went into some production stuff, right? Bakery obviously takes a lot of ingredients. We would need a. F we would need to basically. Can we make flour? Rain mill, for example, that can make flour, right? So if we're like, okay, don't know the ing like the ratio. I can look that up. But if we were to make flour, for example, that stuff is good. <laughs> So that's not worth it. Bread, though, but then we're talking a lot of stuff, right? So maybe not that specifically. Carpentry, diary, so that would be milk. Uh, milk, sugar, spinnery, wool. Wool, that's true. Sugar mill, tailor shop. Let's look at clothes, just for fun. Cereal, oil. Let's take a look at oil and oil and cloth. Oil, cloth, fabric. Who? Fabric. What about sunflower oil, for example? Ooh. Uh, let me look up some ratios real quick. Huh, so from what I can tell, for oil, uh, you need two sunflowers and you get one sunflower oil. So that would be 1,500. That could probably be higher at like maybe, let's say 1,700. And if we go for sunflower oil, that is more money. That is more money. I was just looking at the wool and fabric. Not quite uh, useful for us just yet, I don't think. However, uh, if we go into construction, I've lost my mouse there. Uh, if we want the oil, 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 oil. Nope, no biogas plant. Where on earth is the oil mill? That's 80,000. We would need a pretty big loan. And it's ginormous. Question is, is it on the map somewhere? If we go to crop types, growth, 
Nope, just vehicles. Okay. Uh, carpentry, sawmill. Oh dear. <laughs> Let me find it. If it's there. No, I don't think it's there. So we could put an oil plant down. And stuff like canola and sunflower could be turned into oil. For now, though, I think the best thing for us, this time around anyway, is going to be to put down uh, soybeans in April. Soybeans, we could do sunflowers, but that requires a special header and equipment. Soybeans, I think even our header can do. If we take a look in our garage and header this thing. Yeah, it could do soybeans, it could do canola. We do need to think about food for the cows, though. Grass is an issue. I can buy grass fields, but making it ourselves and turning something into hay, I might buy that grass field. Because I can turn it into hay fairly easily. Especially with, I think it's this. Nope, that's our roller. Uh, yeah, I, I, so many farming decisions to make. What is this? That's 55,000. I might take a loan to, make, to take field 11. We may get field 11. Just so I can make hay from that, grass from that, because that will then be able to feed both the sheep with grass. Uh, this, These guys need grain, but we already have canola in there, so we can probably go another year without having to do anything, because we have 6,000 liters of it. And these fellas need both hay and grass. 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 Or they can have either one of them, actually, so we could just do grass. Probably gonna be the simplest, since we don't really have the resources to make total mixed rations yet. Uh, hay is only the cows, so really grass would be the simplest, so we can give both the cows and the sheep. I think we can manage. I think we can manage this field will probably be finished growing fairly soon ish. We should be able to last. Otherwise, we'll just have to buy some grass bales, honestly. Bales, a uh, square bale of hay. We can't buy grass bales. Oh, dear. <laughs> do we have we don't have a mower, do we? No. Right. Mower needs to be leased. Okay. That's a lot to do. Oh dear enough. Bam. That's cool. Well, better sell this. That'll be like 7,500 euros for these sunflowers. Unless we get that thing, then we can turn it into sunflower oil, which then would turn out a profit of twice as much. But that would require us to, like, do canola and stuff as well. Oh, olive oil is good. Sunflower oil, canola is also decent. That's also pretty much, that's way more than double actually. Now that I think about it, 1,500, 3,000, that's, that's pretty good. I don't know what to pick. I really, really don't know what to do because that's a lot. If we get into the oil business, we're gonna make canola and sunflower oil. It just hit me. We have a field growing with canola, don't we? What what is this? What why am I seeing what is teal? Oil seed radish. Right. Yeah, we we are growing canola, right? Yep, in field nine. Okay. Okay, yep, that makes sense then. We could make canola oil very, very easily. Um, okay, 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 hey, bear with me here, please. Um, oil mill, huh? That's 80,000. Where on earth would we place such a thing? It doesn't really fit anywhere, right? Except... It's not owned by me. No, it's not. This would be the unloading area and the loading area. Could place this here. Could buy this land. Get a loan of 80,000. Place it here. People in that house, well, they don't have a window for it anyway. So, could place it here. Could place it down here. Right? 
Boom. And we still have plenty of grass area to work with. Huh. Might do that. Not might. Will. Hold on. Here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna buy this. Catching. Done. Okay, that field is ours. We have grass there. In the next episode, we are getting that cut. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and lease the machinery for it now. It's ready to harvest. We get the grass on it. It's gonna get cut in the next episode. Then we gotta place down the oil mill. Okay. We could place it here, but that's good. That's not gonna look fun for the farmyard, so we're not gonna do that. We'll place down the oil mill. We'll have a fairly big field for grass. Place down the oil mill. Move the sunflowers in there to make sunflower oil. The canola harvest will go directly into the oil mill. And with that, we should be making quite a lot of money. If all goes well. And if that goes well, we might turn all the other fields next year into canola and sunflower. And you're saying. That's probably what's gonna happen. I think that's a plan. Hey, fellas. How's it going? Uh, yeah, I need to lease stuff. <laughs> Can I go into package? What's this? Ooh. That's expensive. I don't know. Why did I react like that? Uh, grass, 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 grass. Okay, I've just gone into the grass collection. I'm gonna lease this in front of the tractor. It's not very big. However, uh, actually, I was gonna get this for collecting it. But we can get a fairly big mower pretty easily. Something like this to mow it up quicker. Like I think, yeah, that would that would do nicely. Uh, never mind. That's way too much horsepower. <laughs> uh, we need we need a way of collecting it for its wagons. Um, it doesn't actually say any working with. You know what? We're just gonna go with what's in the package. We're just gonna do that. Lease, a ching, boom. This, lease, a ching. How much for the tractor? Just asking. Nope, not doing it. Not doing that. Uh, and let us also go ahead and. Eh, there we go. This over here. And we need to do this in this day, in the next episode. Uh, hello? Okay, I guess you don't service my tractor anymore. <laughs> or, oh, it has to be in here. Yep, yeah, there we go. That makes sense. That makes sense. I just wanted to repair it. Boom. Condition. Max. We are spending a lot of money on keeping the tractor going, though. The older it gets, the worse condition it's gonna get in. So, eventually, we do need to think about selling it and getting another one. But my plan here is I can attach you. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. Can I attach it there? Yeah, I can. Perfect. Attach hoses, and then attach... There we go. Perfect. That's that. Uh, oh, I have a camera. Boot up camera. Yep, look at that. Get up here. Yeah, a steering wheel. There we go. Put that in. Add that. I don't think this has hoses. It has not. Uh, lift this up. Boom. So in the next episode, cutting that grass. Placing down the oil mill. Because this town doesn't have one. So I'm going to become the new oil merchant. We can sell sunflower oil. Canola oil. Olive oil if we get olives. I do want to do that. But that's all to come in the next episode. For now, let's head on up to our brand new field, which is right up here. And... And... Here we are. 
this is where it's all gonna kick off in the next episode. Ladies and gentlemen, hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you next time. Until then, have a wonderful rest of your day. Big day tomorrow. Goodbye.